Hey, it's me again. I'm still working on the intro. So, this is Zach from Team 53999F for Vex Robotics, and this is a cube I've 3D printed. It's 50% scale. And so I'm going to try and 3D print a claw for our robot this season in this video. So I have some parts over there, a few C channels and some angles. So what I've got over here so far are two C channels, two angles, one broken. And they're going to go around like this on either side of the cube. And it's going to hold it like a tube and there will be some other pieces going across the back. Probably not angles, I don't know what I'm going to do there yet. And that's going to go up in a tower. And then on the corners, there's going to be a second angle inside it that will be able to slide. And then a piece on top like this. And then that will be able to slide up and make the container able to hold maybe five or six cubes. So then to drop them off in the zone, it's just going to open up with a motor in the back. And we'll just drive backwards and drop it. So, this should be able to stack on top of other stacks, so the goal is to get six cubes in one, drop it down, grab another six, and then stack that on top of it for a 12 cube stack. So that should be pretty good. So now I'm going to go 3D print some more parts, because I'm not done yet. What follows is a brief construction montage. We hope you enjoyed this brief construction montage. Gotta move this thing. That's next video. Subscribe. So I got enough ready now for you guys to tell what I'm going for. So I got both sides with a slider and these pieces are just representing one bys that are bent because I can't make that. And that allows the angle to slide and the piece up here is what hits the top of the cube and pushes it up. So it's going to be like this, held in by a claw, and then say there's a cube right here, we'll go up to the cube with these open, grab it, lift it up, drop it down on the next one, then I got two, and then I'll look for another one, which I have not 3D printed yet, it's printing right now, so you'll have to wait for that. So a few things I learned from this. These do not work very well. It's better just to use the VEX sliders or something like that because you'll have to use a screw to hold these in and that'll get in the way of this sliding unless you loosen it a lot and then it can wiggle a lot more and this still wiggles a lot. Not enough to make much of a difference but with the screws it's going to be a lot worse. So, also, it's better to have a slider on the side instead of the corner because then you can just attach this to the slider instead of you making them slide. So in the actual real version I'm gonna have a metal slider piece, I don't know what they're called, right here and then one of the plastic things attached to a C-channel that can slide up and down on that and then this second piece will be attached probably by standoffs or something like that to that piece and these will be gone and this will just slide freely in here. And then this thing will be more of a triangle shape so I can get most of the cube instead of just hitting the edge. And there will be hooks underneath it, which I'm going to do later, so you're going to see that. And that will hook underneath this slanted part of the cube, so I should be able to hold it pretty good. And then with those, they're going to be slanted upwards, so I can just slam it down on top of it without having to open and close my claw, and it should intake it fine. So now I'm going to wait for that other cube to 3D print, and then I'm going to make some hooks for these. So I'll be back with that. Okay, so I finished a third cube, so now I can make a stack that actually makes this extend so I can test out everything about this. So I've also added these two little popsicle sticks on the sides that will hook on under here so I can hold it easily. So now I'm going to test it out and make a three cube stack. So that's an issue that won't happen with metal. That is also an issue that won't happen with metal because 
metal won't bend on this, so I'm just gonna try that one more time. There. So they extend it up. They're still not full height. I think they should be able to hold one more. I know so. So that's about all I got because this thing's breaking apart and I'm going to Canada tomorrow. Canada! So, this is a pre-recorded video, actually. But at the time of release, I'm getting back from Canada. So, hello, America. Wow! So, this is what I got so far. It's probably going to be vastly different when we make it out of metal. And that's about all I got. So, that's the end of this video. Like it if you liked it. Subscribe for more. And see ya. Bye-bye! I'm so proud of the dog, but I